No means no. Silence means no. But sometimes no gets suffocated under the weight of an oversized ego that needs to learn to take a no. So no can be the safe word it always should have been. Forget pineapple, red or orange, there has to be power in no. Stop and get off me. I'm going to tell you a not so secret. Communication is unbelievably sexy. Speak to them directly. Avoid a situation getting sketchy. Make sure they're ready. Communication is sexy. And consent is compulsory. Being of age isn't approval. A smile isn't authorization. A smile can be from nervousness as easily as flirtation. Communicate before you give in to temptation. Being drunk is no excuse, that's not up for negotiation. What your mates think is irrelevant, don't let that fuel irritation. Be patient, don't ignore hesitation. Make sure your intentions are good and don't get lost in validation. If what was worn was an invitation, rape on nudist beaches would be an uncontrollable situation. Clothes can't give consent. And consent won't be found through gyration, manipulation, sedation, penetration or ejaculation, but through communication. Have the conversation. He asked for consent. But he didn't listen to my answer. Asking isn't enough. Their answer dictates what you do or don't do after. He stopped trying to turn me on. Instead, he turned on me. Now he's a rapist and that's a label that sticks forever. I guarantee consent is free. Rape is not. Rape comes at extortionate costs. Being desperate for a shag or being a lad isn't an excuse for being forceful and it won't stand up in a court of law. It doesn't matter if you're remorseful. You don't put the penis into happiness. But no, this isn't just aimed at men. The capability is anyone's, whether he or she or them. There is no exception. We are in this life together. We should be each other's protection. We don't have to do this. Is the most seductive thing anyone can say to me. And if I had a quid for every time someone has, I'd have like two quid. It isn't enough. It costs nothing to talk about stuff but rape. Rape comes at extortionate costs. Communication is erotic. Let's make sure it isn't lost. Do you want to do this? Is this okay? Forget Fifty Shades of Grey. That film was awful anyway. Let's try 50 ways to make them feel safe. Communication is sensual, not to mention essential foreplay. If you get into it and they change their mind, no and stop, still hold the same power. So pull away, get off, stop, see past what you want, tell them it's okay, encourage them to communicate, reassure them they're safe. They don't have to say what you want to hear, they get to say what they need to say, make them feel that way. Ask if they want to continue or not. Communication is hot. They get to choose how their body is used. Give them that choice instead of giving them trust issues. And don't put the tit into attitude and get in a mood just because they refused. Even if you're confused, they are excused. Their no isn't a reflection on your performance. Most of the time. It isn't all about you. If you've had consensual sex before, that doesn't mean they'll want more. Their body isn't yours. You know what you need to ask for before you explore. Make sure they're sure. Make sure you're sure they're sure. If earlier they said yes and now they don't want to, you don't have consent. It's not up for debate. You don't have an argument. I don't care if you're discontent. Let's prevent an offence. You scrambling for defence because your satisfaction came at their expense if you don't have consent. Nothing goes ahead. It's common sense. If you have to talk them into it, it shouldn't be happening. The fact I'm even writing this is baffling, but people are being raped and their lives are unravelling, leaving years ahead of battling to repair the damages, it's maddening. Let's make communication more appealing. To avoid unnecessary lifetimes of healing and dealing with feeling like our bodies are concealing internal bleeding from the wound that keeps reopening and the nightmares that keep repeating in our minds, peace is hard to find. 
I don't want this life for another of mankind. The bottom line is consent is compulsory. But lines get blurred and lines get crossed, read them carefully. And in between where silence sits, make sure communication isn't lost. Communication is hot. Consent is legal. No consent is rape, a crime. And you'll do the time, but so will they. To an extent you can't even comprehend, it won't ever go away. And we pretend we're on the mend when it affects us every day. No one deserves this kind of pain. Don't be a criminal. It's easy. Communication is unbelievably sexy. And consent is compulsory.